Good morning. So I just woke up and today it's meat day. Yay! So currently I woke up, Riley left for her swim warm up at the pool. And right now I'm gonna get ready for the meet. Yay! <laughs> So I just got dressed and I'm about to munch down on some oatmeal because this is pretty much what I have every day before me. Um, and I know actually we're getting bagels today from Toss Not Bagels for like team breakfast. So I'll, I'll probably have one of those before we compete. But my stomach just does not like to have dairy before I dive. So I will probably either eat a plain bagel I'll try and bring some peanut butter if I remember. Um, but I can give you a little outfit of the day. Also, my hair is a mess, but it's okay because I'm about to jump in a freezing cold pool, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but my, our we have to wear our warm up jacket and then our Towson swim and dive white T-shirt. This is gear issued, and then I'm just wearing black leggings. Um, and then we have to wear our gear issued sneakers, but that's the fit for today. I'm also bringing our gear issued shorts just because I like to warm up with shorts on and I don't know if I'm going to get hot wearing this. So I'm bringing the shorts just in case I get hot, but yeah, right now I'm about to munch down on some oatmeal and I'm about to do my gratitude journal just because I like to do it in the morning. Reminds me like what I'm thankful for and everything. So I am going to do that right now. So if you're wondering what the journal looks like, that's the layout. And today's quote is, I am not a product of my circumstances. I'm a product of my decisions. Very good quote. And today I'm just going to write down today's top goals, today's affirmations, what I'm grateful for. And, and then we have like a little area to write like a little paragraph. And it says, describe why you are a victor and not a victim. So I'm very excited to get into this. Okay, so I just finished um, my little gratitude journal for today. So I'm feeling good. Um, I'm gonna finish my oatmeal and then I will get started on my hair. Okay, I got some hair ties, moved to the mirror, and now we're going to attempt to do my hair on the first try. So for my hair, we don't wear a cap during meets. It's just what our coach prefers. So obviously I'm not wearing a cap, so I have to do my hair pretty good. Normally, I will do my hair after warm up and before we start competition. Okay, this is not going well today. That's okay. Um, just because my hair is really thick and most of the time, oh, you fell. And most of the time won't hold after um, warm up. So yeah, um, I normally go for like a mid a low ponytail about like here I tried French braiding my hair um that takes skill that I have yet to master so we're working on that one but for now we're going with a mid to low ponytail securing that with a couple hair ties um as I mentioned my hair is really thick so it takes a few hair ties to get it right. So what I do is I flip my head over and then I start braiding my hair um, just in like a regular braid. This is what I found that doesn't hurt my arms the most and make my arms dead. So this is just what I do. I just braid my hair. Okay, and then just like that, grab one more hair tie, wrap it around to secure the braid and then pull it tight so you know it's dirty. And then we have this masterpiece, and then you can just pull this to make it tighter. Um, and then we have our braid. And then actually, I don't know if you know this, but I got bangs. And so they like pop out and there's no way for me to secure it like with a bobby pin or anything, just because like, I don't wanna put a bobby pin in my hair when I'm diving because I'm scared it's gonna like come out. Um, so anyway, I'll get some water right now actually. <laughs> I'll just slick this back so my bangs are like sticking up because it's like really awkward. <laughs> Does not look 
cutest. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much my meet here for now. When I get to the pool, um, and we're about to start, I'll like wrap it in like a little bun like this and then put like 5 million hair ties in it and then it still falls out. So if anyone has any tips on that, please comment down below because I don't know if I'm supposed to use less hair ties or more because I use about five to six and like then like the ponytail like starts to like unravel like that. So I don't know if I use more or less. So if you're a hair expert, let me know in the comments below. But yeah, this is my hair for the meat. I don't know. Super cute. What else do I need to do? Oh, I need to pack my swim bag. So this is our team bag. It just has a little tag with my name on it and a ton of hair ties. I actually haven't gone through this since our training trip. And if you want to watch that vlog, very proud of it. Very fun trip. Um, see how the bangs are popping up? Anyway, that will be linked in the description. That's going to bother me. Like, I, See, if I was in like gymnastics or like dance or like cheer or anything, I could just like pin it down. No problem. But I'm not. So love that for me. But I just threw in a pair of my shorts. I'm going to pack my AirPods, my water bottle, my key, the necessities. Oh, and snacks. Snacks are my favorite part. So we have like a little room at the pool for like snacks. But like I'm very picky with like meats because I don't want my stomach to get upset. Um, So let me grab some snacks. These are the snacks I'm bringing. I have a peppermint Luna bar, as you know, my go-to. Swimming, not diving, class, whatever. Always have one on me. Then we have a honey stinger. I normally eat this before practice or before lift. And then I have one of these Kodak crunch bars. My mom actually got these for me and I only have a couple left. They're actually pretty good. So this is what I'll be packing for snacks. Snacks, we got shorts. I just need to put on shoes. And then I think I'm good, honestly. Uh -huh.